I'm not your sister. I'm your mother. That's You're Disney? My what? Your wow, mother? what a premise I'm for a mother. Disney show. And I'm gay. I guess that was the right time. Last night, when we were watching Andy and Jonah. What is... I actually do watch this show, oh my god, I remember you this. Me, this is Andy Mack! I, Mac. Andy? I love this yeah. show! You asked me, am I happy for Andy? Yeah. And I said, yes, I'm happy for Andy. Oh, I know this part. <sighs> but I'm also not happy. Why? Are you jealous? Drama. Cyrus, do you like Andy? Oh, he was so scared. You like Jonah. Oh! You like Jonah. Jonah's a boy, right? He's gay! You like Jonah. Oh, you would never see this in a Disney Channel show when I was watching Disney Channel. This scene gives me goosebumps. Weird. These kids are really good. I feel weird. Oh. Different. I'm not different, Cyrus. Come on. You've always been weird. Weird is good. But you're no different. I like that. But you're no different. There's the message there, right? Isn't it? There's nothing wrong with you. you. This is sad, very emotional. I'm glad I told you. It's also the right thing to do. Ooh. Thought of telling anyone else. You'll be okay. I promise. Oh, wowzers, those waterworks are starting to come. I hate when people that are that are gay and lesbian, they say that they're different, but they're not really different. Who is this a try not to cry challenge? Because if it was, I would have lost immediately. I haven't been watching a lot of Disney shows like since like when I was younger, but then I heard about this show, the concept of it, I liked. So I, I started watching it, so I'm so happy. It's beautiful, I think. Uh, you know, especially kids at, at a lot of ages are struggling with who they are. If I were in that boy's position or whatever, I think uh, I, I would see a lot of hope with this. So, how did it go? Did you tell him? This is the clip that went viral that right I was time. seeing on Twitter everywhere. It wasn't the right time. That's okay. It'll happen. Cutie patooties. We'll the other kids the right seem to be very supportive. Cyrus, hope. You'll know when it's the right time. Hmm. Cyrus, help. I'm not recognizing anything here. Oh God, is that okay. Jonah? Well, He's so that, cute. that, of course, is Aunt Ruthie's kugel. Uh, that's your classic bagel and blocks. That's gefilte fish. Skip that. And I'm gay. I guess that was the right time. And I'm gay. Okay. He sees the moment. I love that. <laughs> Spit it out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. But you're a really good kid. We all wish it could be so easy. It's usually not that simple in real life. These aren't the kind of shows I grew up with. There's a getting used to factor of something on TV, you know, like this for this age group. But as any human being, you could just relate. I've lived in a very liberal area for all of my life. And so Disney Channel has this reach across all kinds of different political backgrounds that to see something so casually like that is something completely different for a kid that might be living in a more conservative city. So before we get started, we're reminding the people at home that we film this in Southern California, so a lot of the opinions aren't necessarily gonna be everyone's thoughts on this topic. Yeah, definitely, we definitely have more of like a liberal show here, and that's what a lot, of, I always see those comments. So we have some more to show you in a little bit, but those were clips from the Disney Channel show, Andy Mac. Oh, really, Disney, well, um, congratulations, Disney. I'm, I'm glad they're dragged into the 21st century. I'm a little surprised. I don't know if they were pressured into it, because I know, uh, like, the LGBT community, um, you know, they have a, a real, real strong force in society. Have you heard of it? Mm, no, I have not heard of it before. Yes, I know that. I know that. I watched um, season one because I think actually my brother was the one that told me about the show and he's six years younger than me and so we started watching season one together. Is this what you normally see from characters on Disney TV or shows that are kind of geared towards kids? No, absolutely not. But it's about time. On YouTube I see some gay stuff. 
but not any like official shows like that. This is a completely different Disney that I, you know, I grew up with, you know, all the Disney characters, Snow White and, you know, all of that. They're following the curve in, you know, where society is going. For a lot of kids, Disney Channel and Nickelodeon are huge parts of your formative years in elementary school, middle school, where that's all the TV you're watching is children's programming. And so to finally see yourself represented as a character on that feels amazing because finally it's someone that you can relate to. There are some who feel that kids should not really be shown things like this when they're young. So why do you think that some adults don't want kids to know about people who may be gay? I don't know. I think kids should be seeing this. It's perfectly fine. If they're allowed to see a boy and a girl, they're allowed to see a boy and boy. Some adults will have really strict rules like you cannot be gay. That's final. And I'm thinking, Go ahead, it doesn't matter. I feel like the people that don't like gay people, it, and like everything else, it's probably because they didn't learn when they were young. Like, I'm glad my parents taught me that everybody can live their life. And I do remember when I was young, I did a gay, I did a gay video, and they're like, if you had a friend that was gay, would you, would you accept it? And I went, no. Let me clarify something. I was only five years old, okay? I did not know anything. Honestly, in my head, I was like, what the heck is this dude talking about? Like, Betty was there, and I was like, what is he talking about? Like, get some sense in your brain. But now I understand it, because why did my parents stop me? What do you think of Disney's decision to have storylines about a young person who is gay openly discussing it in a children's program from a family brand like Disney? I think it's gutsy. I'm sure there's plenty of backlash going on. They kind of played it off like they did it on TV first, so it's not as big. And then maybe in the future, they might do it on like one of their like big movies or something. It could be a little more realistic with the, cause it's, conf it's, it's conflicts. It's like that little boy is just comfortable. You know, usually a little boy that knows he's gay in middle school, they're not comfortable like that. If my kid was watching the Disney Channel, I wouldn't think to maybe monitor or or see what it is that they're watching because I'm going to assume Disney Channel, what's going to be on there that's going to be, you know, maybe controversial. Parents might be taken off guard. I don't think the kids will. So I think it's brave. I think it's amazing. It like represents children pretty much. And you want to see representation, like whoever you are, you want to be represented. Kids have been, have been gay for the longest, like ever since like, time again, most likely. And it's just, this is something that's connecting to these younger kids now that they're gonna see it and be like, I'm not alone. I'm not the only one. They're not gonna feel weird. So forget what adults say. We wanna know for you, a kid in 2019, what do you think when you see a character talking about being gay on a show for kids? I think it's surprising, but I don't think it should be a big deal because the more we act it's a big deal, then the more it's like in real life, you're like, oh my gosh, this is such a big thing when it should be like, that's just how the person is. I think it's okay. I really am proud of the writer for finally expressing that. Everybody should just accept it and move on in life because it's nothing big. It's not like the end of the world's happening because he's gay. Some adults express concern this is too mature a topic for young people. Some perhaps due to it being homosexuality, but for some, the general idea of topics around sexuality at a young age has brought up controversy. I think it's sexuality. I don't think it's homosexuality. It's a very gray area, and it's all per the individual to say what is right and what is wrong for them or, the, or their kids. So even if you are in support of this being in a children's program, can you see any validity in the concerns that some people have? I think that's honestly bullshit. Nobody goes, oh no, they shouldn't be showing kids that. What, you shouldn't have crushes in the third grade? But what's not okay is having a girl like another girl in the third grade. That's where we draw the line, apparently. Somewhat, but I think that's only if it's overly, like, I think sexualized. These are kids, they're not overly sexualizing it. People feel like sometimes that the lifestyle of somebody homosexual is learned and, you know, it's influential and, you know, it's, it makes people go more towards that lifestyle. I understand people's uh, concerns, um, with the, especially with people that are like, uh, you know, on the right and like real conservative and everything, but you know, that's not realistic, man. You got all kind of people in this society. The parents did their job appropriately, then we wouldn't be even having this discussion. But we have to have TV shows and we have to show people how to do this because there are parents who think that way. If your kid is asking questions at six, you need to answer the question, age appropriate, I don't understand. Absolutely, I can see validity. So for those parents, 
don't take your kid to see it or don't let your kid see that. I think people, parents should exercise their own individual control. But to be honest, I, I, I don't know, I find it incomprehensible that some kid is going to see it and quote unquote turn gay because they're watching this. But don't try to prohibit or limit other people from seeing it. That's where I draw the line. So though the major news that came out from Andy Mack has been this storyline, the show deals with a lot of other topical issues all geared towards a younger audience. So we have some more to show you now, starting with a clip from the very first episode, which is also kind of the initial premise of the show. Yes, oh my God, the first episode's great. It's so dramatic, I love Andy Mack. The show's so dramatic. I love Andy. drama on Disney Channel. I'm not your sister. Oh, crap. I'm your mother. That was unexpected. I'm your mother. I'm surprised they showed this in the first episode. That's You're Disney? What? Your wow, mother? what a premise I'm for a mother. Disney show. <laughs> You're my what? That's what I would have said. Your You're mother? my what? Are I'm you kidding mother. me? Mom! Mom! Jesus, I'm telling mom on Please, you. Be so oh, mad. wait. Mom! No, please, she's gonna be so mad. Uh, she says she's my mother. To hey, find out your mom is your grandma you. and then your you sister is your mom, that's just, crazy. Look, you all have been lying to me for my whole life. Ooh, girl, Andy, better talk to them. It should be on a Jerry Springer episode. <laughs> I don't understand. Yeah, that, who makes up that kind of lie? These are the things that do happen in life. That's probably a good idea that this be approached as well. I'm really surprised that, that Disney had the balls to do this. Aw, oh, Jonah. Oh, wow. Drink. I thought I was dying. You've had a panic attack. Why is he having an anxiety attack? Well, that's such a scary experience. Panic attacks can be very scary, but the symptoms are temporary. Remember that if it happens again. It's going to happen again? It might. I treat kids younger than you who have them every day. I can't go through that every day. I like Sorry, that they have an adult that's accepting about it. that. Your friends aren't going to think any differently about you. Yeah, they will. I think differently about me. But they care about you. They can help you if you let them. I'd rather just go home. Oh, wow. Panic, yeah. yeah, anxiety. Yeah, my daughter is battling anxiety every day. Especially after when my mom had passed away, my anxiety attacks would get really bad where, like, I would just be sitting on the floor, like, not knowing what to do. So I had to go to counseling when, like, my senior year of high school. And it, it really did help. I'm just grateful this show's showing all that. I come from the brush it under the rug generation. So, no, it is good. It is, it, I, you know, I, I definitely see the value in everything you show. They're all the topics kids are exposed to. Kids are going to have different sort of issues and learning disabilities or just different experiences that it feels nice to have characters that include everyone because then it's a character that you can relate to and you kind of get advice from this. Do you think a kid's show talking about this would have been allowed to be made or aired specifically for a kid's demographic maybe earlier when you were growing up? No, no, no. We weren't ready for it. We weren't ready for a lot of things. But to be a kid at that age, in the 70s or the 80s, saying, yeah, I'm gay, you know, oof, that would cause a storm, a firestorm. They sort of kind of touched on it in a very after-school special kind of way, like a very special episode. At that time, I, I, I didn't think that it would be in a kid's show. I couldn't see it because it hadn't really happened. But I'm, I'm happy to see it. So from what you saw, is this a show you'd be okay with kids watching? It would depend on the age. I think a discussion with the parents, anytime's the right time. Yeah. I, th I think I would. Of course. Uh, I think more the better. More information is better. Yeah, they could watch it. If it's reflecting on the, sh on, on, on the screen or, you know, on the TV show, then that, that's reflecting reality. Absolutely. My kids, you know, I'm trans. So uh, my kids uh, and my grandchildren, yeah, uh, they, I think they are respecting of the humanity in each person that they meet. Absolutely. But you know what? I'm one of those parents that was like, you know, ask me a question. Oh my gosh, my kids ask me questions on the way to school, honey. And I'm driving like, 
but I answered those questions. So oftentimes adults will have a lot of opinions about what is shown to you as a kid, but seeing these clips today from the show, do you think that kids should see these kind of storylines? Honestly, I do. But I'm guessing that the parents aren't showing them because they're nervous about something. I think they should because it can teach them about it more. It can just like help them in the long run to understand it more because that way if someone's like, I need help, I don't know what's happening, like you can be the person that could help them out. I don't understand because you're like, I don't want my kid to learn about this now. She has to be an adult to learn this. I mean, that's your opinion. Adults, just wait until you see your karma. They're gonna end up learning about it sooner or later. Might as well show them when they're little. Well, I know like people like want to be protected of their kids. They don't want them like to be watching something very like super inappropriate. But like, that's nothing. Like that's a Disney Channel show. I'm sure the producers of Disney Channel, if they thought that that was bad, they wouldn't put it on TV. So finally, do you think that shows made for children will over time have more storylines like you saw today and more diverse characters such as being LGBTQ plus and even go further? Or do you think that they should limit what type of characters are portrayed for kids? Well, I, I don't like putting limits on anything. A lot of children's programming will become a lot more open. Because then otherwise you're going to have such a sheltered world. There should be somewhat of a limit, like, especially like more adult content. Like you need to, with age, you will grow with new TV shows that hit those topics. But I think having exposure to like more types of people, you know, like diverse groups of people and just having that representation, I think is definitely gonna help shape kids to like just have a better understanding. Definitely in the future there are gonna be more because I think as time goes on, more people are more accepting. But I feel like there should always be like a couple shows that don't have anything to have to do with that. Just like fun hearted shows that don't teach you about what a panic attack is. This is where they're getting their influence from. So they need something that's gonna also teach them a lesson, not just be the bubblegum stuff. So I feel like this trend will continue. I feel like there's gonna be more storylines and if there's a limit, I will do a protest and like have everybody sign the paper and bring it to the Disney Channel sh um, studio and be like, this is bajillions of people that signed this paper. You better bring back storylines. I remember the old, you know, the old television series where they couldn't even have a man and a woman, even if they were married, sitting on a bed together. So yes, things have changed and they're going to continue to change because society, I think, is going to demand it. People aren't going to watch shows that no longer reflect society as it is, and I think this stuff reflects society, at least society as I see it, anyway.